Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, in the previous video, we have already seen the use of data tables and we have created this particular scenario and with these three rows in a particular table and in your step definition, what exactly we were doing that, we were using the same data table object over here and then using this as list method, which is returning the list of list of a string, right? So today we are going to talk about that we can return one list of map also we can do that so let's see how to do this so what i'm going to do that uh, this time i'm going to change the same scenario i'm going to change with the a new table but this particular table let's see i'm going to define a new a scenario with columns and uh, user enters the following user details with uh, columns and here in this particular table i'm going to define some columns as well so for example let's see this is my first name so i can write this is my first name and then i'm writing this is my last name then i'm writing this is email then this is phone number and then i'm writing a city over here as bangalore so the first row will behave like a column for me and uh, other respective uh, rows will behave like a data for me so Naveen, Tom, Peter, sorry, Naveen, Tom, Lisa, these are three uh, user registrations. Let's see, I want to do that. And this is a separate scenario. So the moment I uh, save it, that uh, with this particular step, we don't have any uh, step definition because we have just changed the name of the definition over here, name of the step over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this particular registration feature.java and then I'm going to create one step definition I want to generate one step definition from the console. I'll copy and then I'll use it. So the registration dot feature and simple run it. When you run it, you will see that, yeah, we don't have uh, this particular implementation It's missing. So I'm just going to copy this particular implementation from here and then go to registration step dot Java. And then I'm going to define this step over here. And here you can see that now earlier we have seen that you can take the list of a list if you remember this a list of a string a list of list of a string we were getting it this time we will be using the list of map over here so how to do that so let me remove this guy and this time let me just remove this io.cucumber also we have already imported this particular data table what i'm going to do that i simply write this particular data table dot as maps is available okay and here, what type of map? My key will be a string. So I have to write a string dot class comma value also will be class type over here. And this maps will return what? The list of map over here. So it will return one list, and but this list will be having the map of strings. So map of a string as a key and map of a string as a value. And let's see, this is my use and map is equal to this. So this is a map that we have created and this map we have to import from java.util package. So remember this thing as list method will return list of list of strings, but as maps will return list of maps over here. Okay, now what exactly will happen with this particular map? So now I'm just simple printing this particular map. First of all, that simple user map over here and let's see what happens. So the moment I define this particular step, I'll check my feature file. It's not flagged. It means now with this particular uh, step, I'm already declaring one step definition. We have already declared over there. Now let's run this particular feature file and let's see what happens. So run as configuration and simple run. And you see the console. Yeah, my both the steps uh, scenarios got passed. And for first scenario, this is the uh, list we were getting. And for the second scenario, we are getting a map over here. Can you see that? First name is equal to Naveen. And now I'll show you how exactly this map will look like. So I'll go to my any sublime text or anything. And I just copy paste this particular map over here. And then you see this. This is the first uh, map value. And it's the second map value. I hope you can see like this. See this, right? So this is the uh, list. In this particular list, we have a uh, Zero, this is a zeroth value, this is a first value, and this is a second map that we have. So we are getting three maps. First name is equal to Naveen. So what exactly it will do, it will create the pair like this. 
if you go to the feature file whatever its first name is equal to Naveen first name is equal to Tom first name is equal to Lisa like that it will create three maps over here you can see that first name equal to Naveen first name equal to Tom first name is equal to Lisa so each and every row value will be mapped with the respective column headers that we have defined over here like that so this is looking more elegant more uh, readability point of view also and you can use this particular map let's see we are filling a particular registration form or whatever in your respective step you can use that for example let's say i want to use that uh, uh, simple i'm writing system dot out of print Allen. from this particular user map a dot and see guys, the user first of all it's not a user map let me just rename it i'm simple writing let's see this is my a user list why because this is giving you a list not a map so let me just print this particular user list a dot get method i'll be using it because ultimately it's a list only and list is order based it maintains the indexing over there or order over there so it means go to the zeroth uh, zeroth guy and then what do you want i simple it will return a map right guys because it will return a map you can see that it's giving you a map and map means how will you retrieve the value from the map this guy says that okay fine you give me the key i'll give you the value so what is my key my key is first name so let's see from the zero throw what exactly we are getting so let's run it again and let's see what happens so run as configuration and run so you can see over here that for the zeroth value i'm getting a naveen over here you can see that right this is the zeroth value zeroth uh, list index value and then i'm reaching over here and then i'm passing this particular key i'm getting naveen over here if you pass last name you should get automation over here right so like this you can simple print from the respective row on the basis of so this key will behave like a column for me right now i'll do one thing let me just comment it out i want to print using a for loop so i simply write a for loop over here and what type of values we have we have i'm going to use for each loop we have map of strings over here and then they say this is my e and uh, i simply write in this particular user list and then what do you want i simply write system dot order print ln you simply go to e dot uh, e dot get and what is the key that you want to use so my key name is first name i'll be using it and then give me the respective value same thing i'll be printing for all the column values over here first name last name then email id phone number and city over here so i quickly write exactly map you have to map with the exactly column name over here so first name then last name then email id sorry uh, this is my email id i'll be writing email id then i think i'll just quickly write phone number and then city over here okay so let's see how exactly it is printing so let's go to the feature file once again run as configuration and then simple run it again you see the console yeah absolutely working fine and this time i'm getting the exact value you can see that naveen is the first name last name email id phone number city then tom peter tom something like this we are getting london and for lisa we are getting all these values with city as san francisco over here right so like this we can simple use that so it's a really good feature you can use it as a map also you can use it as a list of list also you can use that and the same kind of scenario you can use for any kind of application any kind of form filling or you want to maintain your test data in the form of data table you can do that especially with the form filling let's say you want to do a registration i would prefer to follow this pattern because uh, it's clearly visible that okay yeah this first row will behave like a column for me so that's why i've just given the name like this user registration with the different data with columns it was normal user registration with a different data and simple maintaining the data like this and storing the data in the form of list of list over here not in the form of list of map right so it's a very simple video very simple concept you can try and then let me know if you have any issues with that thank you so much guys thanks for watching navid automation labs please like subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues till then take care bye bye and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much